please. Eugene Schwartz, and I'm an educational consultant working mainly with Waldorf schools. All right, since we begin with that, why don't you tell us what a Waldorf school is? A Waldorf school is a school that values the connection between the child and the teacher, and one of the most important aspects of them is that children stay with the same class teacher for a number of years, what's called looping now. It's been going on in Waldorf schools since early in the 20th century. There's also a remarkable integration of all subjects, art, science, history. They weave into each other all year long. So a child's always being given the big picture and seeing where subjects connect. The fact that children are generally taught in a more fragmented way is one thing that makes children bored with school or disinterested in subjects. So this integrated quality, this quality of connectedness, these are unique aspects of Waldorf education. You mentioned that most students don't get that interconnectedness. So how would you characterize most U.S. public education in general, com contrasting that with what you just described? Well, I'd say that the tragedy of a lot of public education is that teachers are by and large receiving excellent educations to be teachers. They get psychology, they get child development, they get the fruits of incredible research going on in psychology departments and sociology departments. Then they come to a school and they learn you've got to teach to the test. It's test driven. I would say a good deal of this test-driven education is political in nature to make legislators look good or to get people elected, um, and it has very little to do with the child. I think most of my public school colleagues across the country want to teach children and not teach to the test, but they're prevented from doing so. So this is the problem. We have plenty of good teachers. We certainly have millions of wonderful children, caring parents. The problem is the, politica, the politicization of uh, education in America. And so if a parent wants an alternative to that, uh, unfortunately a lot of times what they have to do is to take their children out of public schools and put them into private schools, which on one hand reduces the amount of funding that legislatures give to public schools because of the number of students that are leaving. And another thing, it, it, it disinvests those people. Now they don't really, some parents might not care how public schools do if their, parent, if their children are being educated in public schools. What's your response to that? Yes, it certainly is an issue. Now, I just should mention that Waldorf schools, unlike many other private schools, do everything possible to provide financial aid. I know that the uh, local public school in Clear private Waldorf school in Clearwater, uh, the Waldorf school of the Sun Coast is very concerned about giving a lot of tuition aid. So it's not all that polarized a situation. And now there are increasing efforts, particularly in the American West, to create charter schools using Waldorf methods. You can't do everything in a public school setting. There are certain things that only independent schools can do but you can certainly improve the caliber of education in such a setting. And there are about 70 such schools serving round about 8,000 children right now in the West, and that's undoubtedly going to spread. It's growing very, very quickly. So I don't think it'll be either or with Waldorf education. I think it's going to permeate public schools over the next years. Your talk tonight is titled, Cultivating Emotional Intelligence Through the Education of the Heart. What does that mean when it comes to educating students? Well, as I said before, the connectedness um, is a big part of Waldorf education. The relationship quality of the teacher to the student, that is number one on our list, that the teacher knows the students, cares about them, and if you're looping and staying with the same group of children, I've done this more than once, you get to know the children, you get to know the parents. We bring parents into the life of the school. We don't regard them as um, belligerent, but rather as our co-workers. 
and the relationship of the parents to other people's children as well as their own, the relationship of the parents to one another, and all of this weaves together and creates, um, I would say, a real education for the heart because the child's life of feeling, the love for others in the class, the love we hope for the teacher and vice versa, and above all, the love for learning. These things can flourish in a Waldorf setting. Once again, where we're not teaching to the test, we're teaching to the child. And finally, what are the details for tonight's talk? Where and when is it? Uh, the details are that it will be at the Suncoast Waldorf School, 1857 Curlew Road in Palm Harbor, Florida. And um, the phone number for contact is 727-786-8311. And the uh, website is www.suncoastwaldorf.org. Eugene Schwartz, thank you very much. Thank you, Sean, for having me.